It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Brandon, tell him. It's time! <laughs> the fuel pump is finally here. Let's check it out. So finally showed up, bulletproof racing hanger, got twin Walbro 450s in there. Looks so sick, uses the OEM plugs, you're not cutting and splicing wires. It also comes with this relay box that we're gonna wire in, uh, goes directly to the battery, and then you run a vacuum line to this hob switch right here that's gonna activate the second pump. So we're gonna Put the fuel pump in, wire that box, and we're gonna show you how we do it. Before we install the fuel pump, we're gonna run the vacuum line for the hob switch, the intake manifold. And Brandon's genius idea, instead of running a vacuum line from here all the way throughout the car, we're gonna hook it up to the EVAP line down there. I'm gonna try to zoom in on this. All right, this guy right there, that guy. That goes all the way to the trunk already, and it's a hard line, so we never have to really worry about the line collapsing, and we don't have to run like probably 10, 15 feet of vacuum line, so it makes our lives easier. So we're gonna hook a vacuum line up to the EVAP line and then run it into the trunk to that fuel pump little relay box. So we got the box kind of mocked up, kind of where we want it. This isn't the end product, this is just so we can see if it starts, but it's gonna be in that corner. Batteries right here, so we're just gonna tighten down the terminals and then put the fuel pump hanger in and give Sally her first crank in years. Old fuel pump is out, bulletproof fuel pump hanger going in two 450s with the hob switch. Oh yeah, it's going down. This thing's a little bit of a pain to get in there, but those two pumps. Not much room, but it fits nice. Got this line. There you go. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. That is sick. That's some pretty shit right there. Fuel pump is in. Brandon had to run to the gas station because we drained the tank and had no gas, so. Drink up. Robert, how's it feel to put gas in the car again after? I haven't bought 93 in at least three years. <laughs> <laughs> so I was getting 93, but don't worry, she's gonna be corn fed. I'm already warming up to spend some money. There we go. 93, only the best besides the 85. All right, B, moment of truth. Ready? Huh? There she is, come on. So far, hands are chopping. Oh, listen to these things. Look at this guy. Look at that. Pushes my hair back. <laughs> rock, 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 rock. What are they? What kind of cams are they again? Huh? S2s? S2s, baby. S2s. S2s all the way. 
Those things are chopping. But no leak so far, which is great. We're gonna call Marlin right now from Mop Performance. He's the tuner of this car. And we're gonna tell him that we got it started. Give me a base map. He's gonna maybe swing by, give us a base map for it. Right now it's on somewhat of a base map that he created, but we're gonna have him swing by and just check everything out. All right, Brandon. All right, I gotta loosen it up. Time, Time has come. Time has come. Time has come. Justin the TPMS. I figured that's probably why it was up at two grand. Oh, light is on my face. Justin the TPMS tuner's here. Now we could finally start the car without it dumping fuel. Be got the Evo to idle. Look at that AFR. Before it was running so rich. Shout out to Mr. Marlin, my performance. It's finally running. He's gonna be the tuner of the car. If you have an Evo, you need a tune, he is the guy. He knows these cars like no other. Brandon's car was running at like 10 AFR yesterday. Now it's running perfect, 14.5. It's not burning our eyes anymore, so we can finally let it idle. We still gotta put the steering shaft in, take it for a ride, do an oil change on it then we can finally drop it off for the full tune. We can't wait. Again, if you need any Evo help, he is the, man. Is the man. He is the man for it. Look him up on Instagram, Mop Performance. We're located in Florida. If you have an Evo, that's where you go. We're back at the shop, another day. Now we do. Last night, Marlon came, tuned the car. <laughs> Shout out to Marlon. Best tuner ever. Um, we are testing the hob switch before we give it to Marlin tonight to tune it uh, to make sure that second pump turns on. So what we're doing is we're actually using a pressure gate or pressure tester for a radiator. Oh, it turned on. You hear the pump turn on the second one. Second pump turn on. So that's a good side. Uh, 42. So second pump turned on, we wanted to test it and make sure before Brandon goes to the car so it doesn't lean out, because that'd be terrible. So now we know the second pump works, We're happy with that. Gonna hook that all back up, put the steering shaft in, take it for a nice little drive, and then give it its first oil change before we drop it off for the tune. It's official, the Evo is on the ground for the first time in a while. Brandon's gonna take it for its first little test drive with the base map, and we're gonna come back and change the oil on it. First ride, let's go! Brandon is taking it on his first ride in over four years. Uh, this just shows, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Me and Brandon have been friends since high school. We always just talk about building cars, building high horsepower cars, and we did it now, I don't know, seven years later. So, put your mind to it, you could do it. We've just, we just proved that you can. We're now gonna wait until he gets back, change the oil, bring it to the tuner, drop it off, and then wait for the tuner to call us. We're gonna make some contact with him. He said he'll give us a call when he's tuning the car so we can go down there and do some ride-alongs and stuff, so. Stay tuned for that. First, the oil change. Yeah, take oil. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. You ever see somebody that changes their oil every three miles? This guy. Not even. <laughs> the oil is now changed in the Evo. We're just doing some little finishing touches, checking the coolant, all the fluids in it before we give it to Marlin tomorrow. Um, we're gonna wrap up the video here because Marlin is now gonna be taking possession of the car. And like I said, we're gonna be doing some content with him when he's ready to tune it. It is Christmas time, so definitely understand spending time with the family and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a little bit till we get some content on this car, but we are gonna get some sick footage, like I said of ride-alongs in it while he's tuning it, which I'm super excited to do. This car is going to be so fast. Brandon, you excited? Oh yeah, <laughs> thrilled. 2.4 <laughs> is gonna be pushing, and it looks so good. We're so happy the way it came out. 
It's so funny because you open the bay and it literally looks like just a bolt-on FP Red car. But little do they know, it's got a 2.4 in it. You can hear it. Sounds a little bit different. Sounds cool just from driving it around. But hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. We cannot wait to get this thing tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay updated for the next video. It's a brand new friends, got a brand new bed, huh? It's a brand new bed, huh? Got a brand new kid, huh?